Do you want an operating system that looks like Windows 11, but the internal architecture is Linux? In this video, you will see such a good alternative to Windows 11. This OS is called W Ubuntu. Its interface is much like Windows 11, and internally, it is an Ubuntu operating system. The good thing is that it is free to install and use right now. So let's check it out. Download and installation. To download the W Ubuntu, we will visit its official website. Then here, click on the Download Free Edition button. Here we have the Plasma version, which comes with Windows 11 theme. We have a Cinnamon Windows 10 edition also. The last one is Linux FX Red Sand edition. We are looking for Windows 11 theme, so we will download the first one. On the next page, we will click on the Download Latest Version button. The download will begin. It is going to take some time, depending on your internet speed. Once you download the ISO from the website, just burn it on a DVD drive or create a bootable USB drive, then boot your system with it. The installer will take some time. Then you will see the Windows 11 layout. However, the installation isn't complete yet. You need to open the install system. First, select your language, click Next. Now select your location, then keyboard layout, disk partitions. Then you need to enter your name, username, password, etc. Click on next to begin the installation. Once the installation is complete, click on done to restart your system. Overview of the Ubuntu operating system. Here you can see the desktop of the Ubuntu operating system. It has a similar interface as Windows 11. From the left side, the taskbar has the widgets, which you can add. Then here is the weather icon. You need to set the location to view the weather information. Then you get the start menu. It's very much similar to Windows 11. Next is the find icon, which can be used to find things and settings on the system. You will also have the Microsoft Copilot, so you are not going to miss it after switching. Then the next icon we have here is the virtual desktop. It is here, not like the Windows 11. You can have virtual desktops, but you cannot name them. Also, you can't switch to desktops using the keyboard shortcuts, though you can use the mouse scroller to switch between desktops. Then you will have the Microsoft Teams app. The next one is the File Explorer. Let's check that. It's not exactly like the Windows File Explorer, but many things are similar. The surprise here is the right-click context menu. Here you get the full context menu. You don't need to click on the Show More button to see the full menu. You get the Cut, Copy, and Paste options here. Overall, it's a pretty much neat and tidy File Explorer. The next icon we have here is Microsoft Edge, which you can use to browse the internet. The next item we have here is the Discover. You can search for different apps and install them on your system. Then here we have updates and other important icons. If we expand this quick launch icon, we get some of the other options. Now let's check the Settings app. Settings app have different items classified, much similar to Windows 11. It is powered by Microsoft Power Toys which isn't activated as it needs a license because it is not a Windows-based system, but a Linux operating system. You can also run Android-based applications, which I am not able to run because I am running this OS on a virtual PC. You have the Info Center, which tells about the system, such as OS version, kernel version, and hardware information. Then you have System Monitor, which serves the purpose of a task manager, but in a new interface. Now let's talk about the Windows executables installers. Can you install other Windows programs on this platform? Yes, you can install most of the programs. It will install them using the Wine installer. Here I am trying to download and install the Audacity Windows program, which pops up the Wine installer, which I need to install first. Then I can easily install the program like on a Windows 11 PC. So you can install Windows executables as well as Linux Debian. This is a good alternative for people who like the Windows 11 interface, 
but they can't use it on their system because of the hardware limitations. They can install the WUbuntu and use the Windows 11 interface within the Linux architecture. Right now, it's free to use, but again, I don't know how the license system works because it is using the Windows 11 interface, so there might be some copyright issue. They have the professional license option, which is a bit pricey. They might start charging for the OS in the future once it gets some popularity. Anyway, it is free right now, so you can give it a shot. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends and family. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows tips and tricks.